Hey Exiles, how are we doing? We are back again playing Saga of Survival. New video today, guys. Hope you guys are doing well. So I want to go storm the dungeon today, but I want to do it in a different way. And I want this to help you newer players because I do get this question a lot. Um, everyone, everyone who plays this game who has only just started, uh, who want to go through the dungeon and want to know what type of level that you need to be so you can go through the dungeon. Well, this is what we're going to do today. So we're going to go through it. I'm going to explain exactly what type of armor, weapons that you guys might need as a minimum requirement so you guys don't have to, you know, think about it. I'm going to take all the guesswork out of there for you and we're going to go through it today. So some of the items that I've got, we'll start with the bandages that, you've, uh, that you would have noticed. So these items here are easily obtainable. You guys can get that, it should not be a problem. It's a little bit overkill, but it's always good to have these bandages just purely because, so if you guys run into any sort of situation where um, you've got too many en enemies at you and you don't wanna die, obviously you guys will be able to use the bandages for quick restores without uh, healing over time. Um, obviously you're going to need the smokehouse and this is only just for some of the food that you might need. So that, that's, I'm not going to focus too much on that, but just keep that in the back of your mind. So you might need that. So I'm using the non-star version of, uh, this lot of armor. So, um, this, um, is only that all that you guys are going to need. You're not going to need anything more than that. Feel free to go up to level 22 and grab this set of armor if you want to but it's going to require a little bit more resource on your end to do so yes it's um it's better more durable but you don't really need it and for weaponry i've chosen two so the non-star torch i've created two um so that will be for certain enemies and the longbow will be the next requirement again two of which and they are non-star so the reason why I went with this combination here, only because if I need to be involved in close range combat uh, for, with certain enemies, and this is particularly to the undead, I'll be going through and using uh, the torch for that. And then for the walkers here, I'm gonna primarily use my bow. And the reason for that is that these guys do more damage versus than what an undead would actually do to you. So you're best off using the ranged weapons to take these guys out. No loss of durability and only at the durability of your weapons is going to be the only thing. Now what you just noticed there was I was able to pick up a, a key and you guys will need keys, especially if you haven't done your stable yet, um, to open up the chest, which I'll show you in a little bit. So as you can see, the wolf that I just killed here I'll use that with the torch and I'm going to flick back because I know there's going to be a couple more uh, walkers up here and another wolf sometimes the way that these guys spawn in they spawn in certain ways so you just have to keep that in mind that they may or you or you may or may not have to deal with them so just keep that in mind it always is that type of thing that might happen so you just got to be careful with that but as we're going along, we are just taking out this guy here. And as you can see, he does a fair amount of damage. So, which is a bit of a pain because really he shouldn't, well, shouldn't really need to have to incur any sort of damage or anything like that. So anyway, this will be the next guy. And then now we will be jumping through the, the dungeon in a moment. Now, you don't necessarily have to take out these guys. I mean, up to you. Very lucky on that one there, by the way. So you don't have to, you can more, you can more or less get them and guide them out to about here. And then you guys can just uh, uh, run right, right past them, do the crouch sneak method and um, on your way through. Up to you how you want to do it. Um, that's just the way I wanted to do it. And the other only reason why is that those guys there will drop certain items like these things here. 
So the keys are important for you guys early in game if you guys want to start opening up the, uh, the glowing chest, which I'll show you in a minute. And you want to get these flax linen. It just saves you on farming for rushes just to do that. And plus it, it allows you to um, create your next lot of armor as well if you're going to run the padded armor that I've got here at the moment. So that would be my suggestion to you guys. So with the undead, they're just going to drop a lot of undead essence predominantly, so there's really not too much with that. They'll drop some empty water skins as well, so if you want to pick those up, definitely go right ahead. And if you're lucky, you will get the critical attacks, as you can see. Okay, so I'm going to have to heal up in a moment. I'm not going to use the bandages, and I'm not going to sort of use them throughout the whole time unless if I absolutely need to so that these are more or less my uh, my fallbacks my fail safe when you go through the dungeon you guys are going to find a lot of food that you guys are going to have accessibility to potions and water skins that you guys want to pick up and take with you if you guys haven't got the cheese cloth or any cheese cloth back at base um, the dungeon is notorious for cheese cloth so if you guys want to take that with you, definitely. My suggestion as well, and I will go through this now as well as soon as I kill this uh, undead, that you may notice I'm using a couple of other items that are not accentuated to your potential level. So what I mean by that is the backpack that I'm using. I'm using the large backpack. So for the purpose of this video, I just want to go through it as quick as I can for you guys. But you guys may not have accessible uh, accessibility to the satchel you may only potentially have the basic backpack my suggestion to you guys with this here is that you may want to use this barrel and the um the stove here as your drop chest so you can just ferry thing uh items back to um you know to the start of the map so you don't have to keep running up and back kind of thing just take what you need, go through it, and then come back, and then you collect. You guys got about 24 hours before the zone resets anyway, so that's something to sort of take note of. Now, I'm gonna let this guy hit me, and I'm just gonna try and get him to come over my way over here, if he can. And only because there's gonna be a bone breaker on the opposite side to me. So, you guys gotta to need to be careful, very careful with that. So, and then this is the glowing chest that I spoke of before. If I can actually click on it, you would use these keys. You need four of them to open up that locked chest. And you do get the potential to open up some um, good items specifically for the horse. So the bone breaker, I'm going to let him chase me. And he will take one hit on me. And you just got to use the run and crouch method that I just used there. You just got to let him hit you and you just run and hit the crouch button as soon as the his icon sort of leaves the other uh, little minimap screen there so uh, best option there so with that being said I'm not going to be taking on any bone breakers in this video because I don't feel the need to and I think for the most part for you guys that it's probably a good thing to not worry about just get them out of out of your way and at least this way you guys can focus on looting the zone which is the most important thing so you will get some decent items you, you may get some items that are a little bit better than what you've got there i'm not a big fan of them personally that's just my opinion if you want to take them feel free to take them but i'm just taking certain items that i need for myself which um, which you've just seen there so we're just going to move on i recommend to just crouch especially if the undead that you're going to attack here isn't facing you this just sort of saves you in a sense where that bone breaker that we've just got um, out of our way he doesn't uh, run over and come and attack you so you got to be very careful with that so that'll be my next tip with that you got to keep those guys out of your way all right and this is the next part so ideally I don't want him to come anywhere near me from the start but now that he has I've obviously got no choice but to sort of take him out and this is only due to the fact that I've got a heightened uh, whoops 
That's because I wasn't focusing on my curse levels, so that's something that you gotta be careful about as well. The moment that we take this guy out, we'll be fine. And I'm just gonna take out this undead here. So the potion of Maras that I've had here, I probably should have explained that a little bit better at the start, that you guys do need to take this on um, and just be careful of your curse hit points there. So I'm just gonna drink up, just get rehydrated, switch back to that. I probably used the bow more than what I should have, but that's okay. So we should be able to get through this even with what we've got currently. Okay. And let's just eat up that. I'm gonna switch back to the bow real quickly. And I just wanna take out these guys. And the only reason for this, as soon as it gets close to me, and if you need to, you can do the run and dodge tactic so you can always get the critical hit point as well. But you may need to um, finesse a bone breaker here so you can leave him here in this sort of area and then you can run back out and then get out of his sort of range and proximity. So that's probably, that's the other reason why I wanted to open up that area just a little bit. Let's just switch back to that. And then what you're gonna find here is, these are reliqui, uh, reliquies or reliquies, however you wanna pronounce them. Most times they're not, you're always gonna find food. So it's a good way of just stocking up, as you can see, and just continue on that way. Now, I'm gonna to have to take out this guy here. So the walker here, Ideally, another way that you can just draw him out without drawing any other sort of attention to yourself is to go down this way as well. And by the time he sort of comes your way and you sort of get too far before you have to think about any other enemies that you need to attack, you've pretty much taken him out. So I didn't actually see, no, okay. So sometimes you might get lucky and you might get more keys that might be, uh, that might drop. So you'll get these keys um, on any undead and uh, uh, walkers and of course bone breakers they will drop it a little bit more common than what uh, the other two will but I haven't checked these guys anyway so it's always good to just to check out and some of these materials I think that's the tobacco pouch yes it is and they're good for crafting so upgrading your workstations and things like that they're some of the materials that you will need and we've got another walker upon us. So let's just take this guy out real quick. Okay. And as I said, if you get if you let him hit you, he does do anywhere between 19 to 20 damage. So something that you want to avoid so you retain your um, durability on your armor. It's gonna eat one of these. And we'll drink up one of these. Okay, so we should have, yep, accessibility to this now. And we'll just go ahead and open this and we'll take care of this in, um, this in a moment. All right, so you'll get some basic items here. I'm not gonna bother with them. I'm just gonna keep going. So I'll let this undead come over this way and we'll just take him out. And job done. Okay. So the only reason why that I'm checking is I'm just checking for keys. If I find enough keys, I'll go ahead and open the chest with today's video. If not, I'll leave it. But hopefully you guys sort of get the idea, the understanding with that as well. Now up here, we're not going to go up here just yet. So I'm going to do this at the end. And the reason for that is that, that, that there will be two bone breakers. Uh, waiting for you so what you're probably best off in doing is you want to clear the area mostly as most as you can um, and at least this way this offers you a few avenues that you can go back to if you need to because if you've uh, moved them out of their place and you have to make a quick emergency exit um, and you're low on health you don't want to die um, they might be stopping you so that's, yeah, that's another tip there for you guys. So 
I do this my way because I feel like this is the best way that I've worked and that it really works for me. Now this may not work for you guys or you might think that you might have a better way of doing it. By all means, um, do it the way that you guys feel that will be better for you or beneficiary to your playing style. Um, this is ultimately just a guide and um, hopefully you guys are enjoying it so far. But just on that, hopefully if you guys have um, already hit the like button, go ahead and hit it. If you haven't done so already, I really want to make sure that a lot of you new players will get to see this video. Um, in addition to that, if you guys want to, please make sure you hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you don't miss out on any future videos if you guys haven't done so already. And also comment down below, let me know what you think about the video, how do you guys run the zone yourselves. Um, if you found this helpful as a good little guide and tutorial, let me know as well. Um, it may encourage me to make you know certain other videos as well, so that might be a beneficiary for everyone else, not just yourselves. All right, so we're just gonna swap over to this guy here and we'll take out this walker here. So like I said, just use this as your ranged weapon. You can't go wrong with it. And for some reason, the game is having a hard time by the double tap to equip, so that's a bit of annoying, but that's all right. And there we go. And he doesn't drop another key, but I'll take that off him. I've got a lot of those undead essence there, so I'm not going to be really too bothered about that. Make sure you come over this way here and grab um, the barrel out of here, just so you don't forget it. Plus, you get some food and water. Alright, so let's just go back to this. I'm going to go down this way. I'm, I want to clear this area as well. And again, this is just purely so you've got avenues that you can maneuver around and you guys aren't pushed into a corner where you're going to die. So let's just go ahead and open that. I'm, uh, I'm going to leave those behind. Okay, so let's just go down this way. Okay, just crouch up on this guy here. And unfortunately, I don't get the sneak attack on him, but that's fine. Okay, just as well these guys don't attack um, quick. They're very slow attackers, which is good for us. And I want to eat up all of that. And so far we're looking okay. Probably not the best, especially at the start, but is what it is. All right, so, so far right now, we're nearly pretty much halfway through the zone and we've still got more than half of our um, durability, which is a good sign. At this point, you just wanna make sure that you're reducing your, um, your curse points as well, because it's quite easily um, easy for you guys to forget as you notice what happened to me beforehand. So don't do what I did then, just you gotta keep an eye on, on your levels there and make sure that you guys aren't in that position there. So use them if you need to. Okay, there's gonna be, I think, this walker, another one, and I think two more. I think there's probably up to four walkers in this section here. There's also a bone breaker you gotta be careful of as well. So, Speaking of whom, so at this point, this is where you want to run through here. And if you've got enough distance on him, you can either just crouch and he will stop halfway through. And at least this way, you don't have to bother with him or deal with him moving forward. So you basically will either at this, well, you know, now in this situation, you want to come through this way and just attack everyone from this angle here. You've still got a leading pathway that you can go back into the other section. So if you have to backtrack, at least you guys have got something uh, to fall back on. And that's the other reason why I didn't want to go into that other part of that zone to annoy those two other bone breakers that we will in a moment anyway. So I just wanted to sort of bring that up and sort of, you know, roll that in. So at least this way you guys have got an understanding on how to sort of do it. All right, let's just duck out quickly because that's just too much, um, too much enemies there, especially with the walker. And easy done. 
So I'll go ahead and use a couple of those. Notice that I haven't used my original stack of uh, roasted meat, which is good because it saves you from using it yourself, but also you may not need to bring that with you or craft it up. So one less requirement for you, but let's get back into it and just wanted to quickly drink up on this. And that's what you're gonna find as well. You're gonna find an abundance of food and water down here. And depending on how you sort of set yourself up, you may not need to bring a lot of food with you. Maybe just the bandages might be the only requirement that you might need. And what that will do as well is that will free up a couple of in inventory slots. It just saves you from coming back and forth a lot. Um, I, know it's, I know it's a little, I know it's not a, a massive thing, but it, you know, every, every little bit helps. So whatever I can provide to you as usable information, just, um, yeah, just use it guys. All right, so I wasn't meant to take those, but that's fine. All right, who else do I have in here? I think this would be an undead, maybe. All right, there we go, that is an undead. All right, so that's broken at a convenient time. I'm just gonna switch back to this real quick. And do I have anyone else around here? No, I think that's everyone. So I think it was about three walkers, bunch of undead, and you've got your bone breaker. Oops. All right, so these two little fountains here. Oh, there is a walker there. I forgot about this guy. So let's just quickly take him out. There we go. All right, so opening up this one and the one opposite to it, I think you guys should find some Myra potions, some food and heals, all that sort of stuff. So good time to open these guys up. There we go. And then we've got a chest located a little bit further up. So we'll open that up in a moment. Okay. I'm just gonna move a th couple things around. Don't think I'll need that stack there, but I'm gonna keep these guys close by. And let's go ahead and open up this. So this is one of the bigger chests that you'll find as well. Uh, so sometimes you do get some decent uh, loot, sometimes not so much, but this is the chance that you guys wanna take. So this is the reason why that we're down here. It's the risk that we need to take. So not bad, not bad loot considering, so I'm happy with that. Do need the water barrels for the XP challenge, so that's that's why I'm happy with that. And these dungeon spiders here, as soon as they t attack you once, you can more or less run and then do the sneak attack on them. So it's probably where you probably benefit with the ranged weapons. And then you've got the undead here, so you might want to just Take him on here. Now, you guys want to be a little bit careful. Just use the crouch method if needed, just so the rest of the enemies here are sort of out of your proximity there. So I'm just going to go ahead and use that a couple of times over. And we'll switch back to the bow. Okay, so just let him hit you once Oop. and hope he doesn't you don't know <laughs> your player doesn't miss but that is fine and a quick little um, side thing here as well if you guys are running low on heals and things like that and for whatever reason that you didn't not take as many heals as you thought you need and if you run into a situation where you need to heal yourself up. If you're around this area, you've already taken out a couple of um, walkers, you found yourself a couple of uh, potion amaras, and you've got the venom there from the spiders, you will be able to craft up some bandages for yourself, and that should hopefully get you out of um, any sort of strife that you might be um, that you might be involved in. So that's another little hot tip there for you. 
So make use of the items that you've got around you or the raw materials that you've got around you, I should say. And at least that way that will get you out of any sort of um, problem or any out of jam. Now, I'm just gonna go back here because I want the iron. I've got enough potions there, so I'm not gonna have to worry about that. Food, I've got plenty of at the moment. I'm only keeping the water skin so I can um, craft certain items. And that will be mainly just Mara, uh, potion of Maras and things like that, that you can craft back at home. Okay. Oops. And if he doesn't miss, we shouldn't have a problem, but it's fine. So, so far we're under half, so we're about a quarter of the way on our armor as well. So again, depending on how cautious you guys are, will determine your durability on your, um, on your clothing. So you just got to keep that in mind and how sort of, oops, don't know what happened there, but that's fine. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll just quickly eat these up and we'll move on. So just coming up here, there should be maybe one or two spiders here that you need to deal with. So again, just use your sneak attack, run and dodge. And then you've got another bone breaker. So let's get his attention. And we're gonna head down this way. So by now at this point, you won't have any problems running back into here with any sort of um, enemy here to bother you. So let him hit you, obviously, and then just do your crouch just to get away so he doesn't keep uh, running after you again. And now, We've got the other spider that we need to deal with. There we go. And pretty much these chests that we've got here to play with. So again, these guys do drop some decent loot from time to time. Depends on what you really need. I'm not worried about the rusted uh, iron there. I've got a ton of that back at home. So if you guys want to take it, Go ahead and take it. And hopefully this will give us some decent loot. And we've got some elm, which I do want to take back with me. So what will go? To be honest, I'll probably just get rid of that because I've got a decent amount. Actually, what? I just I should just do that then. Yeah, why not? And quick little things you'll find belts which are really hard to um, craft as well or a pain to craft be just because the materials involved so you want to take that with you and heavy cloth um, this will be beneficial to you guys if you guys are going to upgrade your armor if you want to use the reinforced armor set I believe it is that will be what you you'd want to take back with you but I want to take that I've got a ton of that I'm not too worried about the keys like I said I've got a ton of keys back home I've already got the horse so I really don't need uh, the keys at the moment but if you guys want to take the keys you guys definitely go ahead and take the keys all right so we're gonna go back we've just come back to the start if you guys haven't noticed so right now what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to use this as my little drop chest just the things I know I'm not gonna need whatsoever there's really not too much to take anyways um, with the next chest that I'm about to go get. So depending on where you guys are at with things like that, um, that was close. Um, just, you know, do what you need to do, I guess, at the end of the day. If you want to sort of um, take this point and uh, sort of walk back home. Oop. Not good. Very lucky he didn't hit me. So, unfortunately, these guys do move from time to time, so you just have to be careful. What I was sort of trying to do was just crowd, um, sneak by him, but they are subject to move. So this is, again, another thing that you have to be careful of, because if you don't clear yourself a path or have a path that you guys know that you can use, you're going to be in trouble. All right, so let's go annoy this guy. 
Now usually I like to sort of either take this guy down here. Let him hit me once, sneak away, and you're fine. And if you got if you got rid of him further enough, you should be able to get his his friend over here. Run down this way. And you might be able to be lucky enough just to get him over here. Again, you gotta let him hit you and sneak away. So they're pretty much done with, and then you've only got the bone breaker down over here to deal with. So that's the way that I would sort of go upon it. But if you guys got a better way, then go ahead and do that. Now, we're not gonna go down here today. Basically, you've just got a whole bunch of golems down here. If you wanna get some extra chests or if you wanna get the clay off them, they are a little bit stronger. So you just gotta be careful of that. Um, the weapons that I've got here may, won't be um, suitable for you guys to sort of um, survive down there. So you will need some better weapons, unfortunately. But for now, just getting and clearing the first um, level of the dungeon. That's pretty much it. So we've got everything that we've come for today. And hopefully you guys have enjoyed this. Um, I did this a while back and I know it's out of date. So I wanted to do it again just as an updated version. So just to summarize. You basically, if you want, take some bandages, it will help you out. If not, just get some, at least two stack of heals um, of any type of your choosing. At least the padded armor set would be the way to go. A couple of torches and a couple of longbows if you guys can get the longbows. So if anything, level 24 is all that you're gonna need to qualify yourselves to run the dungeon. And with the help of this tutorial here, hopefully you guys will have a much easier experience to run through the dungeon and loot all the chests that are available. Aside from that, if you guys do get stuck and you can't get yourself out of the zone for whatever reason, just close the game and you'll be outside the zone so you guys don't have to worry about that and running back through the zone uh, to get yourselves out. So if you don't wanna deal with um, sneaking past the bone breaker to get out, do that and then um, yeah and then log back in and if you did make the drop chest at the start then you can easily go back and grab those items just be aware if you do get out of the zone or if you do quit the game and go back in all these bone breakers that I shifted around will be reset back into their normal locations so you got to keep that back um, keep that in mind Otherwise, that's it. That's everything. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this one today. If you did, let me know down in the comment section down below. Hit the like button. Make sure you guys um, do that for me. That'll really help me out. And if you guys are new, hit the sus uh, subscribe button and notification bell. Anyway, that's it. I'm out of here. Thanks for your time. I will catch you in another video.